So I'm kind of starting halfway in the job. We've already taken everything apart, but there's no tutorials online. If you ever want to do a water pump on a K20 Z3 Civic Si, you don't take the water pump because you don't take it out of the side here because there's, as you can see, like one inch of clearance. There's barely anything there. So instead, gotta unbolt the radiator, unbolt the radiator support, then you gotta unbolt your AC compressor, which is down at the bottom, your alternator, and in order to get the water pump out, you take this whole metal assembly out right here. It's four bolts. One, two, three, four. Pull that whole assembly out. Over here, we have the assembly. It's the old water pump. This is the new water pump mounted to the assembly, the tensioner pulley, and above it would have been the idler pulley. And here's the mounting face where it mounts onto the front of the block. Seven bolts here. There's one hard line with a smaller eight millimeter bolt. These are all 10. And this is the pulley for the water pump. Don't use any Honda Bond on the water pump. It comes with a gasket, a rubber, just like this one. Use Honda Bond for this surface here where it meets with the uh, block. There's the Honda Bond. Another point that I failed to bring up before was you're going to have to unbolt the thermostat housing from this main assembly. It's three bolts. One, two, three. These two aren't that difficult. This one is a really big pain to get to. It's behind this assembly and in between the block and a tight space. You have to use some special size sockets and extensions in order to get there. And I ended up having to use a quarter inch ratchet, the smallest one I had. It's a pain. You're gonna have to unscrew it with uh, your fingers probably. There's one hard line that comes down this way. Just kind of like push it a little bit to the side. And also when you're undoing your AC compressor, you can undo it and keep the hard lines all together so you don't have to lose any coolant. Step, get your tube of Honda Bond ready. You gotta cut the tip off with a knife. Also you gotta poke a hole in the metal underneath the tube. Um, and just paint it. Paint it all the way around the gasket. Seems like it's a little too big. It's the same one. Mm -hmm. Seems like, yeah, just looks like it doesn't want to sit. Well, we'll make it sit. Put some Honda Bond in it. <laughs> it's it's sitting now, yeah. right? Yeah, she's sat. Now it's a trick. Just getting that in there. I'm gonna have to move this hose out of the way. I'm gonna stop the filming now. After about a minute worth of shoving and wiggling, you got it in. It's two studs, two bolts. Put them back in their respective places. Then you got that whole assembly with the new water pump in place. I'm gonna tighten it properly so that it seats and makes a good seal overnight. This one here? No. Well, you had them in the correct okay. order, right? Yeah. And then this one goes on the bottom right. Yeah. yeah there should be a bolt somewhere under here that I can. Is it going in? They are 14 mil. Walkie tool. 
Get it to the tension. Do you have the nut? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on the bolt right there. Okay. All right. I'm ready to go. All right. Now we can torque them down with a proper ratchet. Best, a mixture of Harbor Freight, Snap On, and Milwaukee tools. <laughs> yeah. And some Chinese craftsmen mixed with American. Clean one, I guess. Yep. Next step, putting in the thermostat housing. Yep, that's always fun. Mounting it right back onto the side of the, uh, right back onto the side of the uh, metal plate. All right, well, it's gonna need a 10 millimeter. Take that so I can see if I can. Okay. Next step is getting the harder line back onto the water pump. In a very tight space, gotta start it with your fingers. Maybe you have a better tool, we don't. And then we can thread it the rest, tighten the rest way with a quarter inch short ratchet, eight millimeter. Cool. Hard line is now installed. Next up, we have this rubber hose that connects the intake manifold to that assembly right here. And uh, yeah, short, short, short end up yep. like this. Yep. Needle nose. Yes. On the ground. That's one. up we're doing the thermostat. We're going to start with the back bolt first so we have a little flexibility to move it if we need to. This is a difficult bolt in the back side of the thermostat housing I was talking about. We have this flexible extension. We have it, it's a cool, there's a 3 8 inch extension we have it connected to an adapter for a quarter inch and we're using a quarter inch sized deep socket 10 millimeter. If you align it correctly you can kind of thread it around the bend so you don't have to take the starter out. It's a slightly easier way of doing something difficult. Right. And I will hold the uh, the top part and yeah. just turn around and do this part. Okay. I'm gonna attach the Milwaukee here, yeah. but we ain't gonna get it on film. Go on up hand. And now we tighten them all down with the quarter inch for the final tightening. It's plastic, so don't get too hard. That's what he said. <clears throat> and the uh, one I hate. And the one all the way in the back. Except the old guy. Sure. Be my guest. Uh, <laughs> I hate doing that one. Yeah, I got know. it out. You can get it back in. Uh, 
look at that. He got it right on the first try. He said he could do it better than he did. So we're underneath the car. I got my flexible extension. It's a 12 millimeter, two long bolts. And they go oh. there. Uh, one and two. I'm gonna put them in real quick. Final part of the job is going to have to wait till tomorrow because one bolt for the AC compressor is missing there and the other one's stripped, so we're going to replace those too. We already ordered them yesterday at Honda, but they'll be here tomorrow. Special order item. So, next step is going to be putting in the alternators. Three bolts, one, two, three. We got a, a harness connection and another connection right here with a small nut. Don't forget to plug in the. Uh, I'm Plug in your knock sensor. You Got to plug in your AC compressor. Cause we all loosened them up, so we had room to work for the uh, thermostat before. Got the alternator line. We're gonna just tighten the three bolts now. This twelves. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think they're fourteen. I think they're twelves. Okay. Let's see. If it's a fourteen. It's a twelve. So. Use this extension. Here. If it doesn't fit, you can just give it a little tap. One. Two. Three. I would use a big craftsman, or yeah, that one. There we go. Okay, this thing's in my way. What? That prop. All right. There we go. Thanks. Nut is on there. Yep. It's an eight millimeter. This needs a quarter inch ratchet. That's it. That's it. For the alternator. Now we're putting in this pulley. It's the, the pulley that goes in the tensioner. It's the face of somebody ahead, who's just really just aggravated with life. Got you to smile. All right, so we got AC compressor back on, alternator back on, idler pulley back on. This is this one. Tensioner back on, serpentine belt back on. I can put a picture of the serpentine belt diagram if you need. Uh, sensors are back on. The only thing we're waiting on is two bolts from Honda tomorrow. Got the one out, which is leaving it there for now. Strip bolt. It's also, it also looks like it may be slightly broken on the end. We'll figure that out tomorrow with the new bolts. One bolt goes here, one bolt goes here. We'll have to drop in the radiator, which has the fans attached to it still. Plug in the low radiator hose, upper radiator hose, put the support back on top of it, tighten everything up, and start running coolant through it and burping it. Uh, but as of today, that's as far as we can get without those two bolts. So we're going to save the radiator for tomorrow. Anything else? Nada. Yeah, I guess that's it.